Please join me in the call to worship. If I say, let the darkness cover me and the light around me turn to night, darkness is not dark to you, O oh God. In my night is brighter than the day, darkness is light to you, O oh light. Let us worship the God of light. His midnight and dawn. It was the night that Jesus was to be betrayed, unjustly arrested, and deserted. But before this, Jesus gathered with his friends in the upper room to eat the Passover meal and to recall the saving works of God. Jesus took the bread and he blessed it. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melach Olam Asher Kitzvanu Mitzvotava Vitzvanu Alshat Matzah. 
Then he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, This is my body, broken for you. When the meal was over, Jesus took the cup and blessed it. Baruch ata Adonai, Adonai Eloheinu melach kolam boreh shifra hagafen. He gave it to the disciples and said, This is my blood shed for you. As often as you drink from this cup and eat this bread, you will remember me. Let us pray. Holy God, in whom there is no darkness, bless these gifts of the bread and the cup. May they be for us a reminder of what God has done for us in showing your undying love and grace. May we be filled with Christ's presence to be his light in the world. Amen. This is the body of Christ given for you. Take and eat. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. Take and drink. Please join me in the prayer of thanksgiving. We thank you, O God, for giving us this sacred meal, for giving us this remembrance of Christ's life given for us all. Your presence, mercy, love, and grace are always with us, now and for all eternity. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of my life. Let us pray. Gracious God, you give us the sun to illuminate the day and the moon and the stars to shine by night. Kindle in us the flame of your love that our lives may be shed abroad the radiance of your light and the world may be full of the splendor of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, the Son of Righteousness. Amen. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. 
Judas to betray him said, Surely not I, Rabbi. He replied, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters because of me tonight, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Though all become deserters because of you, I will never desert you. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night before the cock crows, You'll deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them a stone's throw, knelt down, and prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and in his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground.
They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. He came and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And once more he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. He came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough! The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself so that they also may be sanctified in truth. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, and they may all be one.
Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley to a place where there was a garden, which he and his disciples had entered. Now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place, because Jesus often met there with his disciples. So Judas brought a detachment of soldiers together with police from the chief priests and the Pharisees. And they came with their lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that was to happen to him, came forward and asked them, Whom are you looking for? They answered, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus replied, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. Then the soldiers led him into the courtyard of the palace, that is the governor's headquarters, and they called together the whole cohort, and they clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him, and they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. See him in the judgment hall, beaten, bound, revived, reigned. See him be clean, bear it all. Love to us, our souls sustained. Shun not suffering, shame. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 